Local musician found duct tape and murdered in a historic Indianapolis Eastside home. Police say the suspect confessed to the killing, but that's not what he told 24 Hour News 8 tonight in an exclusive interview. Yeah, to that in a moment. First, to 24 Hour News 8's Adrian brought us with what investigators are calling an act of revenge. Duct taped and severely bruised is how police found John Butch's body. Butch. A man described as a musical talent who struck a chord with many. Absolutely. Um, it was always hands on. It was never about him. Last week, the 59 year old played his final note. And this 24 year old, Alan Parker, is accused of killing him inside this Woodruff Place neighborhood. Police say Parker, who has had run ins with the law for forgery and theft, confessed to the crime. He obviously stole from all of us. Um, an amazing man. Butch owned both of these properties, and the accused was a tenant. Now, family members tell me last year the accused failed to pay his rent, so their brother evicted him. And police say that was likely the motive behind the killing. The cause of death, according to the coroner's office, blunt force trauma to the head and asphyxiation. I don't know what it takes within someone to have that much anger about revenge. Revenge is a silly time-wasting emotion. Bob Harbin and Butch owned a production company together. This is video from their last show in December. The two were planning for another this summer. Those who knew the former director at the Athenaeum will tell you his resume, impressive. He was a Corbett scholar. He'd played with Tina Turner and the Pointer Sisters and Harry, uh, uh, Tony Bennett, um, the, the Cincinnati Symphony. He was a composer. But those who loved him most say he was so much more than what he was on paper. Adrian Broadus, 24 Hour News 8. And continuing our coverage tonight, Karen, you were at the Marion County Jail late into the evening tonight speaking with the suspect for an interview. Yeah, Brad, Alan Parker actually gave a full confession to police, but now he claims that he was high at the time. He says he didn't commit the murder. It had nothing to do with revenge over rent. But listen closely as he says, quote, it had to happen. Did you go see Mr. John Butch? Mm, no. I was uh, kind of set up, so, yeah. Set up by whom? I don't know. What makes you think you were set up? Well, I was, so, yeah. Was this an issue of revenge because you were evicted? No. You had no issues with that? No, I was actually perfectly fine with it, you know, until he started, you know, coming up to me and with the, you know, homosexuality and... I wasn't for it, you know. So, you know, I, I, I didn't intend on getting revenge from the, from this guy, you know. You know, it just had to happen. Did you own a pair of handcuffs? Did I own a pair of one? Mm, maybe, I don't know. Because according to the police report, you showed up with, with handcuffs and duct tape, and after you killed him, you went into the kitchen, you ate, you drank vodka, you surfed the internet, and then left wearing his clothes. Now, how could that be a setup? I don't know. No comment at all. Were you angry the day that you were evicted? No, not at all. Were you angry when you came back a couple of weeks ago and you were told to leave? Mm, no, not at all. I, I still wasn't angry. I, I don't get angry too fast at all. I, I keep a, a humble spirit, patient. But this guy, you know, I guess he got what he deserved or something. I don't know. You know, being, if you're going to, you know, you saw what you read. If you're going to be all mean and crazy and, angry, you know, and treat everybody like, you know, like that, you know, then it's coming back to you, you know. So are there other people that you think had it out for him? Very much, very much. You heard them talk about it? <laughs> Believe me, I know. <laughs> but, like I said, without this guy in this world, you know, now it's a better world in this <laughs> And that's all I have to say. When police arrested Parker, he had the victim's cell phone in his pocket. And again, claiming he was set up, Parker says he doesn't know how it got there.